Now my colleague the lecture today is about typhoid fever. It is infection which caused by bacteria, Salmonella typhi, Morio, and uh, those infections characterized by fever, intoxication, destruction of lymphoid tissue of small intestinal, formation of the ulcers on small intestinal, and formation of perforation uh, of the ulcers and peritonitis. So you see spread uh, infection, spread um, typhoid fever in the world. You see the uh, hyperendemic region of infection in Asia, in Africa, in America, South America, and infection regions Salmonella typhi. Uh, ways of transmission of infection, patches of transmission, oral mechanism of transmission, watery, food, contact, ways of transmission. Salmonella typhus is infection agent. And the structure of bacteria, so it consists of such antigen, or antigen, is somatic antigen, H antigen, and V antigen, antigen of virulence. And factors of aggression is gyaluronidase, fibrinolysin, lecithinase, gemolysin, catalase. So, uh, and uh, bacteria is synthesis of exotoxins, so it is patches of aggression, gyaluronidase, fibrinolysin, lecithinase, gemolysin, catalase. So, exotoxin causes incre increasing of permeability of blood vessels and uh, formation of exotoxinemia, bacteriemia, and uh, uh, exotoxins cause increasing of permeability of blood vessels and uh, uh, penetration bacteria and endotoxins to blood and formation of uh, bacteremia and exotoxinemia. Uh, and uh, so uh, exotoxins cause depression of immune cells, cause depression of immune response, depression of phagocytosis and cause the progressive of infection. The main mechanism of infection is oral mechanism. Ways of infection, water, food, contact, and factors of transmission, food, water, dirty hands. So uh, what wo uh, food, what alimentary anomalies may be, for example, milk, meat, products, uh, and uh, uh, bacteria are destruction in, uh, in the higher temperature. For, for example, if the temperature is more than 100 degrees, bacteria are destruction during one minute. Sources of infection is patients and carriers the patients with asymptomatic forms of disease. And we spoke that infection spread, spread in Africa and Asia. So let's speak about pathogenesis of infection. Uh, bacteria penetrate to intestinal system uh, and uh, it penetrates the stomach and activation of phagocytosis uh, and destruction of bacteria, formation of endotoxins. Then um, bacteria penetrate to blood, formation of bacteremia, and it causes the increasing of the temperature and increasing of intoxication of the patient. Then, uh, so bacteria penetrate to small intestinal and synthesis of exotoxins. Uh, yes, and uh, it causes the destruction of lymphoid tissue of small intestinal and formation of inflammation of small intestinal 
and uh, destruction of lymphoid tissue. Then bacteria penetrate to regional lymphatic nodes and reproduction in mesenteric uh, lymphatic nodes and cause uh, hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue of small intestine, formation of mesodenitis, formation of mesodenitis. Yes, and then penetrate to uh, blood formation of bacteremia and toxinemia, syndrome of intoxication. Uh, and then bacteria penetrate to internal organs, to the liver, or marrow, lung, leaves. Uh, so formation of infection granulums, increasing of permeability of blood vessels and migration of phagocytes, neutrophils and around bacteria, formation of infection granulums and uh, localized of infection granulums in different organs, for example, in the liver, lung, brain, uh, in different tissue, and to characterize the formation of such clinic of infection. Uh, then uh, formation secondary bacteremia, so uh, bacteria uh, penetrate blood again from infection granulums, from phagocytes, and uh, cause the destruction of lymphoid tissue of small intestinal. Uh, so, and we indicate such morphological results of uh, examination of the patients, for example, uh, the first week formation of inflammation and swelling of lymphoid tissue. The second week, formation of necrosis of the tissue of small intestinal. Third week is rejection of necrosis and formation of the ulcers of small intestinal. The fourth week, formation of cleaning ulcer, rejection of necrosis. So, for stage of morphological alteration uh, in small intestinal. So, and uh, at the fourth week, when formation cleaning ulcer, formation such complication, for example, perforation of ulcer and formation of intestinal bleeding. Yes, and formation of immune response, uh, activation of phagocytes, macrophages. Uh, synthesis of antibodies, destruction of bacteria, and then uh, bacteria, uh, so phagocytes and immune complex, elimination from toxins and bacteria from macroorganisms. So, as a severe form of infection, when high level of uh, toxin in blood, it causes the formation of toxic shock. Marked intoxication, higher level of toxins and bacteria, cause decreasing of blood pressure, disorders of microcirculation, ischemia of internal organs, and uh, formation of polyorgans insufficiency. Yes, and uh, so you see such stage of infection the first week. Swelling of lymphoid tissue, second week, uh, formation of necrosis of lymphoid tissue, third week, rejection of necrosis and formation of ulcer, and fourth week, fourth week formation of uh, cleaning ulcer of small intestinal, and it causes in cases of disorders of uh, regime uh, of the patient, disorders of uh, diets of the patients, it causes formation perforation of ulcers of small intestinal and formation of intestinal bleeding on the third, fourth week of infection. So it is specific complication of typhoid fever. So localized uh, infection granulums in internal organs characterized by disorders of function of different organs. For example, intestinal system, liver, lung, sometimes bacteria penetrate to gametoencephalic barrier 
and cause the formation of meningitis. Uh, sometimes bacteria penetrate to the lung and formation of infiltration of the lung. Uh, yes, and uh, so formation of pneumonia, formation of meningitis, uh, sometimes formation of colitis and enterocolitis. Let's speak about the clinic of infection period of incubation from 10 up to 14 days. Sometimes period of incubation lasts from 3 up to 3 days up to 3 weeks. The first week it is initial period of infection, initial period of infection characterized by increasing of the temperature, increasing of intoxication. Next, uh, second, third week, it is peak of infection, characterized by high fever, intoxication, constant fever. Then uh, recovery period, recovery period. Then um, formation of relapses sometimes, in, from 7 up to 9 percent, relapse of infection, when formation, reactivation of infection. Let's speak about such clinic of um, classical forms of infection. So, period of incubation is asymptomatic period, and then, and then, initial period, initial period, it is the first week. It is the first week. Uh, it characterized by uh, symptoms of the fever and intoxication. Uh, increasing of the temperature and the peak of temperature uh, in, at the end of the first week of infection. Yes, and uh, then uh, formation of constant fever, constant fever, and uh, increasing uh, of intoxication, and we indicate uh, pale skin, uh, typhoid tongue, the tongue with gray patch or brown patch. Then bradycardia, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly on the end of the first week of infection. Symptoms of mesodenitis, mesodenitis, so blunting of percussion sound in right iliac region. Yes, uh, and uh, uh, so next period, period of peak of infection on the second and the third week, characterized by progressive of intoxication, formation of uh, stop of typhoid, stop of typhoid characterized by encephalopathy, agitation, depression, insomnia, hallucination, and the severe forms of infection. Uh, pale skin, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, bradycardia, blunting of percussion sound in right iliac region. It is symptoms of pabulka. Uh, you see such symptoms. At the eight day of infection, from eight up to eleven day, formation of rosello fresh, rosello fresh on the skin, uh, and uh, you see. Rosellus elements on the chest, on abdomen uh, of the patient. Yes, uh, some uh, elements of the rash may be regression and new element manifestation. Uh, and uh, the severe forms, it causes the formation of toxic shock, decreasing of blood pressure, decreasing of diuresia, uh, dyspnea. Uh, polyorgan sensitivity, progressive of polyorgan sensitivity, uh, characterized by three stage of toxic shock, phase of compensation, phase of decompensation, and phase of subcompensation. Yes. Uh, so, and then uh, formation of recovering period, then characterized by elimination of bacteria, toxins from organism and Recovering of the function of uh, intestinal and uh, decreasing of intoxication, uh, stabilization.
stabilization of clinic, stabilization of temperature of the patient. And uh, um, we uh, um, absorb uh, uh, decreasing of the intoxication and normalization of the function of intestinal system. But maybe relapse of infection and uh, uh, because um, bacteria keep in a foul site, macrophage keep in infection granulum, and maybe maybe secondary bacteremia, which characterized by um, uh, the uh, relapse of clinic of fatal fever. Again, so increasing of the temperature, intoxication, rather rash, um, padalka, mesodenitis, gepatomegaly, splenomegaly. But then uh, elimination bacteria and uh, again recovery of the patient. More often, relapsed forms of infection will indicate in immunodeficiency condition. Next, atypical forms of infection, so formation of pneumotyphoid, meningotyphoid, colotyphoid. Uh, so when bacteria penetrate to uh, the lung, formation of infection granulum uh, and formation of infiltration of the lung and we indicate clinic of pneumonia, for example, uh, the fever, the snare, a cold with pyron sputum, infiltration of the lung, uh, pain in the chest of the patient. Yeah, next, main typhoid when bacteria penetrate to gematoencephalic barrier and cause purulent meningitis and meningoencephalitis, formation of uh, Kernik, Brodzinski, so meningeal symptom, uh, purulent uh, cerebrospinal uh, fluids, uh, and uh, um, so a headache and uh, uh, formation of brain syndrome. Uh, so maybe chronic cramps, paresis, paralysis, Disorders of consciousness. Next, cold typhoid characterized by replication bacteria in large intestinal uh, formation of infiltration of uh, mucous membrane of large intestinal and uh, formation uh, inflammation of large intestinal, formation syndrome of colitis, formation of diarrhea with mucous admixtures and blood admixtures, uh, so uh, formation of diarrhea with uh, pathological admixtures, abdominal pain, rectal pain, spasm in the sigma region, spasm in sigma region. Uh, so many clinical uh, variants of, uh, atypical variant of infection. And complication, we spoke, yes, uh, toxic shock, perforation of ulcer, intestinal bleeding. Uh, so we indicate mild, moderate, severe form of infection. Mild forms characterized by uh, subfibrillary temperature. There is no marked intoxication of the patient. There is no toxic shock, there is no subtle typhoid in those patients. Moderate forms of infection characterized by the temperature is more than 38 degrees Fibrillic temperature and moderate intoxication, formation of clinic of infection and uh, pale of skin, bradycardia, gepatosplenomegaly, uh, sy symptoms of mesodenitis, symptoms of padalka, you see, and um, formation of the rash uh, on the eighth day of infection, rosellus rash. In severe form characterized by marked intoxication, the temperature is more than 40 degrees. Formation of toxic shock, polyorgan insufficiency. Uh, formation of um, 
status typhoid, characterized by encephalopathia, depression, agitation, uh, and uh, hallucination, and uh, formation of toxic shock. We indicate phase of compensation, subcompensation, and decompensation. The first stage characterized by marked intoxication, uh, decreasing of blood pressure, increasing of the index of shock. Then phase of subcompensation characterized by decreasing of the temperature, formation of toxic encephalopathia, uh, and decreasing of diuretics and dyspnea, increasing of urea and creatininia, hypoxia, dyspnea, acrocyanosis, diffusion cyanosis. Index of shock is more than one unit. And phase of decompensation, phase of decompensation, characterized by fever, intoxication, so, so terminal stage, yes, formation of poly organ insufficiency. Uh, we you know, don't indicate blood pressure, anuria, uh, and uh, um, loss of consciousness, chronic cramps, so poly organ insufficiency, metabolic disorders, and death of the patients. Progressive of disseminated hemorrhagical syndrome. So bleeding from nose, stomach, intestinal of the patients. So uh, let's speak about complications. Uh, we continue. Let's speak about complications on the third and fourth week of infection. Uh, formation perforation of alpha of small intestinal uh, and uh, perforation of alpha uh, of small intestinal characterized by abdominal pain uh, and uh, muscle tension of abdominal symptoms of uh, peritonitis of the patients. Yes, and next uh, complication, for example, Intestinal bleeding, intestinal bleeding characterized by decreasing of blood pressure, tachycardia, pale skin, acrocyanosis, and blood and uh, mucus admixtures in the feces of the patients. The sickly uh, morphology of peritonitis. For example, necrosis of small intestinal. Necrosis of small intestinal. Intestinal bleeding of small intestinal. So the uh, temperature, uh, list of the temperature uh, in the patients is typhoid fever. It is a wavy variant of uh, Temperature, you see uh, day of infection, uh, the level of the temperature, and you see wavy variant of temperature of those patients, and decreasing of the temperature on the 30 days of infection. So you see uh, such a list of the temperature, you see days of infection uh, and uh, temperature, pulse, hemodynamic, and uh, you see uh, dynamic of the temperature during uh, infection and you see decreasing of the temperature on the days of complication, you see intestinal bleeding on the 18th day, yes, and then increasing of the temperature, and then again decreasing of the temperature, and then relapse of infection characterized by increasing of the temperature, and then decreasing of the temperature and normalization. On the list of the temperature, we indicate uh, serological reactions, yes, uh, laboratory tests, gemoculture, 
serological test, increasing of the titer of the antibodies of the patient, uh, then again gamma culture characterized by relate of infection. So all these indicates all characteristic of clinic on list of the temperature. Uh, the same uh, li list of the temperature, you see dynamic of the fever during treatment, so we indicate the treatments of the patient. Uh, then, uh, for example, uh, indicate uh, rash on the skin, then uh, decreasing of um, clinical symptoms uh, and uh, decreasing of the temperature, and uh, we, we indicate uh, re serological reactions of the patients uh, and uh, then after administer of the treatment of the patients decreasing of the temperature normalization of the temperature and the patients discharge from hospital on the uh, 52nd day Typhoid tongue, yes, we spoke about characteristic of the tongue, typhoid tongue with gray or brown patch. Formation on the first week of infection. Rhizomous rash on the eighth day, the rash on the skin uh, from eight up to eleven days. Localized rash on the chest and abdomen. Some of elements um, can regression, then uh, formation new elements on the skin. Rash, rosellus rash, you see of the patient. So we indicate gepatomegaly, splenomegaly, bradycardia, symptoms of padalka, symptoms of mesodenitis. Uh, so we indicate blunting of percussion sound in right iliac region. It is symptoms of padalka and uh, symptoms of mesodenitis because it characterized by proliferation um, lymphoid tissue of intestinal. Razalus rash. You see on those pictures, you see very little Rosellus rash. So morphology destruction of small intestinal, you see the first week of infection, inflammation and swelling of lymphoid tissue of small intestinal. Second week. Necrosis of lipoid tissue. Necrosis of lipoid tissue. So necrotic elements of um, small intestinal. And uh, in those, uh, rejection of necrosis, rejection of necrosis, uh, formation of cleaning alpha. Formation of cleaning alpha. Cleaning alpha. So, uh, bleeding from intestinal, bleeding from small intestinal. You see massive thrombotic mass uh, in small intestinal. Necrosis of ulcers of small intestinal. Necrosis of ulcers and rejection of necrosis. So let's speak about diagnostic of infection. So it is very important to know anamnesis of the patients. So sometimes live in endemic region, Africa, Asia, uh, maybe alimentary, watery, and contact ways of transmission. 
So, uh, and main clinical symptoms, uh, increasing of the temperature, increasing of intoxication, pale of skin, bradycardia, hepatosplenomegaly, mesodonitis, symptoms of panelka, and uh, on the eighth day of infection, formation of razelo thresh from 8 up to 11 days. Razelo thresh on the skin, on the chest, and abdomen. So, and uh, laboratory diagnostic, for example, uh, blood culture on the first week of infection. Copra culture and urine culture on the second week because bacteria penetrate to intestinal and to urine tissues. Next, immu immunological methods, the methods of immune fluorescence uh, and uh, indications of uh, antigen in copra filtrate. Serological reactions, reaction of non-direct gamma glycination and reaction of passive gamma glycination. Diagnostic title is 200. Then serological reactions with V antigen, V antigen, diagnos uh, title, diagnostic title uh, is 40 in, in carriers, in cases of formation of carriers of infection, in prolonged forms of infection. Then we indicate increasing of titer. So, uh, for example, the third titer may be 200, and then on the second week uh, and third week, uh, increasing of diagnostic titer, 40 hundreds or 80 hundreds. Let's talk about treatments of infection. So, diet, uh, exclusion, spicy, fatty products, mm, bouillon, porridge, soup uh, for the patient, and uh, mm, exclusion of milk, because milk, milk products cause, uh, for example, flatulence of the patient. And uh, bed rest up to 10th day of normal temperature for prevention of uh, complications. Fluoroquinolones up to 10th day of normal temperature. Cifran or ciprofloxacin. Cifran, for example, 500 mg, two times a day. Uh, ciprofloxacin, maybe some, sometimes uh, in cases of tolerance for fluoroquinolones or hypersensitivity to those antibiotics, we can administer cephalosporin, cephalosporin, two grams a day, intravenously, uh, cetriaxone, two grams a day intravenously, or cefotaxin, one gram, three times a day, up to 10th day of normal temperature. Uh, and as a severe forms, we administer combined antibiotic treatment, so uh, fluoroquinolones plus cephalosporin. Uh, and pathogenic treatment, uh, infusion therapy, crystalloid, colloid solution, acesoy, plasoy, quartasoy, remaxol, reambirin, one liter per day. In cases of severe form, two liter per day. In the severe forms, in cases of toxic shock, uh, detoxication, two liter per day. Steroids, uh, if it is emission of stage of toxic shock, it is average dose of steroids. Uh, at the second and third stage, mega doses of steroids. For example, 20 mg of dexamethasone or uh, 180 mg of prednisolone. Glycoside, inhibitor of fibrinolid, protrombine complex, algioprotectin, in cases of hemorrhagical syndrome.
So intestinal bleeding characterized by hematopathic treatment, plasma of blood, angioprotection. In cases of progressive of bleeding, for transport to surgical departments for rejection of intestinal. In cases of perforation of abscess of small intestinal, we administer surgical intervention in emergency, emergency transport uh, to surgical department for prevention of peritonitis. So, uh, for prevention of infection, we must remember about diagnostic of carriers of infection and uh, vaccination. Vaccination. So, there is a uh, VIR polysaccharide vaccine for group of risk. Group of risk, it is medical workers, doctors, uh, laboratory uh, workers, and traveling and the population of hyperendemic region. And methods of vaccination, for example, the first dose, 0 0.5 milliliter. Second dose is from 25 up to 35 days, is 1 milliliter. And then revaccination after 2 years. Uh, so, uh, typhoid fever, we differentiate with paratyphoid. It is clinic and etiology, epidemiology, uh, and clinic is like as typhoid fever. Uh, but uh, in paratyphoid A, infection agent, uh, typho para, um, um, salmonella paratyphoid, paratyphoid A, uh, oral, watery, and contact mechanism of transmission. Uh, penetrate the stomach, intestinal, cause mm, inflammation and destruction, necrosis of lymphoid tissue, uh, formation of bacteremia, endotoxinemia, uh, at the severe forms formation of toxic shock, polyorgans, insufficiency, uh, formation of secondary bacteremia and necrosis of lymphoid tissue. But we must remember that uh, in paratypoid A, um, may be uh, catural syndrome, emissional syndrome is catural syndrome, flu-like syndrome, rhinitis, pharyngitis, tracheitis, serosal and purulent exudation from nose. On the fifth day of infection, formation rash, macular papular rash on the skin. Macular papular rash on the body. In hepatitis B, the same oral mechanism of transmission, infection agent, parat salmonella paratyphoid B, oral mechanism of transmission, alimentary, watery contact, sometimes agricultural animals may be sources of infection, cows, goats, pets. Uh, bacteria penetrate to intestinal system, uh, cause inflammational and necrosis of lymphoid tissue of small intestinal. Then formation of bacteremia and the toxinemia may be severe forms of infection. Formation syndrome of gastroenteritis. Uh, the initial symptoms of infection is gastroenteritis, nausea, vomiting, uh, watery diarrhea. Uh, sometimes generated with blood and mucus, epimixture. On the fifth day of infection formation, macular rash, massive rash on the body. Gepatomegaly, splenomegaly, uh, as a severe forms formation of status typhoid, encephalopathia, agitation, depression. As a severe forms formation of toxic shock, decreasing of blood pressure, polyorgans, insufficiency, disorders of microcirculation, metabolic disorders, and death of the patient at a severe form. 
The same methods of diagnostic of parathyroid A, A and B saw blood culture on the first week of infection. Copra culture, urine culture on the second week of infection. Uh, and uh, so serological methods, reaction of non-direct gene agglutination, diagnostic title is 200 on the end on the first week of infection. Then increasing on the type. So, and treatment of paratyphoid A and B is so the same as in uh, typhoid fever. So, bed rest up to 10th day of normal temperature. Antibiotic treatment, fluorokinolones or cephalosporins up to 10th day of normal temperature. Infusion therapy, detoxication, colloids, crystalloids, regeneration. So, immune treatment uh, in cases of relapse of infection. So, we differentiate uh, typhoid fever and paratyphoid with other infection. For example, measles. Yes, it is infection with a fever and rash. Measles, characterized by fever, intoxication, catch-roll syndrome, macular rash. Prodromal period, then period of the rash, the first day rash on the face, the second day rash on the body, the third day rash on arms and legs. Catch-roll syndrome, necrosis of mucus of oral, uh, rhinitis, pharyngitis, tracheitis. Then scarlet fever uh, characterized by fever intoxication, syndrome of tonsillitis. You see. Uh, hyperplasia of tonsils, necrotic patch on tonsils, uh, the tongue, scarlet fever, tongue uh, at first day, the massive patch on, on the tongue, then brightly tongue, cleaning of the tongue and formation of brightly tongue. Uh, sometimes necrosis of, of mucous membrane of tonsils. Necrotic angina and rash, very little elements of the rash on the skin. Uh, the rash formation on the uh, first and second days of infection. Then radula characterized by fever and rash, uh, but is another characteristic of the rash. So it's characterized by the fever, intoxication, catural syndrome. Uh, on the first day of infection, formation rash on the skin, papular rash, uh, and uh, uh, on the body, uh, lymphadenopathy, megaly. At the severe forms, formation of pneumonia and meningoencephalitis. Chickenpox, characterized by fever and rash, vesicle rash, characterized by fever, intoxication, uh, and formation of rash uh, and, uh, on the face, uh, on the head, uh, then the standing of the rash on the body, arms and legs. You see uh, formation elements of the rash, spot, papule, vesicle with serosal and purulent exudation, then crest and hyperpigmentation of the skin.
Uh, here the tuberculosis characterized by fever and rash, uh, but here the tuberculosis characterized by gastrointestinal syndrome, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, abdominal pain uh, in right iliac region, maybe mesodenitis, uh, and uh, formation symptoms of glove, symptoms of socks, yes, hyperemia, edema of glove, uh, and uh, uh, of uh, hand, uh, yes, hyperemia, edema of foot, hyperemia uh, of the face and neck, and formation uh, scarlet fever like rash. Formation scarlet fever like rash. Then sepsis characterized by fever and rash on the skin uh, may be primary focus of infection, bacteremia, intoxication, formation of metastatic focus of infection, and uh, formation of hemorrhagical vasculitis, hemorrhagical rash on the skin. May be very little elements, petechia, purpura, ephemos, uh, at the severe forms of and uh, in cases of hypertoxic forms of sepsis, formation of massive hemorrhagical elements with necrosis. Uh, characterized by gastric fever, uh, remittent fever, uh, polyorgans insufficiency, and uh, metastatic focus of infection in different organs, for example, in the lung in the liver, in the brain, uh, for example, formation brain of the liver and uh, formation of clinic of abscess of the liver, mechanical jaundice, abdominal pain, diapotomegaly, then uh, formation of abscess of the lung, destruction of pneumonia, infiltration of the lung, respiratory insufficiency, sometimes formation of metastatic focus of infection in the brain and the formation of um, symptoms of meningitis and meningoencephalitis, Kernik, Brudzinski, clonic cramps, disorders of consciousness. The methods of diagnostic of sepsis is gemoculture too, gemoculture. Then uh, epidemic typhus, epidemic typhus characterized by uh, transmission mechanism. Status of transmission is bite of loose and uh, rickettsia from loose penetrate to uh, blood vessels of the patients. In analysis in those patients, pediculosis and the form, it causes the formation of rickettsia. It causes uh, the increasing of the temperature intoxication, breath, hallucination, delirium, uh, toxic encephalopathy, status typhoid. On the fifth day of fifth day of infection, formation rosellus rash with hemorrhagical elements. On the fifth day of infection, formation of rosellus rash with hemorrhagical elements. On the third day of infection. On inspection of the patients, we indicate uh, red eyes, re re red face, and red eyes, hyperemia of the skin, hyperemia of the face, injection of sclera, conjunctiva, formation of hemorrhagical rash, hemorrhagical elements, hemorrhagical enantems, hemorrhagical enantems of soft palate. It is symptoms of Rosenberg and formation of hemorrhagical elements on conjunctiva of the patient. Diabetes plenomegaly, formation of thrombosis of blood vessels, embolism, for example, respiratory insufficiency, uh, formation of thrombophlebitis and necrosis of tissue. Diagnostic of epidemic typhus, uh, serological reactions, 
when the indication antibodies in blood. Uh, so, my colleagues, uh, you see, uh, we uh, spoke about typhoid fever, and we spoke about etiology, epidemiology, factors of transmissions. We spoke about pathogenesis of infection, clinic, classical clinic, atypical forms of infection, and uh, differentiation of infection. Then we spoke about laboratory diagnostic and treatment of typhoid fever. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.